Our other big story this morning, workers at the Cummins plant in Seymour still dealing with the emotions from yesterday's murder-suicide at the workplace. Yeah, tragic situation there for everyone involved. Now investigators are looking through the shooter's car as well as the victims to try and find any clues about a motive here. Our Chris Kirshner is live in Jackson County this morning outside the Cummins plant in Seymour. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, that plant quiet right now this morning. Uh, Julia, good morning to you. It will remain quiet today as workers were told to stay home, take some time, and not return to work until Monday. It was a frightening start to their day yesterday. And you're right, investigators are looking at the car involved, also at the apartment of the alleged shooter, the suspected shooter, 37-year-old Quinn Shen. Police say he shot and killed his Cummins supervisor, 49-year-old Ward Edwards of Columbus, then killed himself in a second-floor room at at the Technology Center building at Cummins. Police did take some things from Shen's apartment yesterday, but they're not saying what they found. As for the shooting itself, many at Cummins said they heard up to four shots. One man was standing next to a plant security worker when he heard the alarm over the radio. Nurse shoot out in the test center, and then he looked at me with like a devastating look, like uh, this can't be really happening. And then that's when they, everything just went all crazy, and they started telling us to get out. Police are still trying to determine why Shen, who was an engineer at Cummins, shot his supervisor. The company has held active shooter drills in the past. Many of the workers we talked to say they were glad they did. There are about 700 employees who work at this particular facility here in Seymour again. They'll be off work today, returning to work on Monday as investigators try to figure out exactly what happened here. Julia Naomi.